Hey, hi. Hail Odin. <laughs> hi, welcome to another episode of Childhood Revisited. This time we're going to play Hammer of the Gods, which is a strategy game, which was... I should have looked that up. I can't remember what the name was of the chaps who made that game. Some Something, I don't know. Also, oh, there it is! Now you can also see it. Um, it was made by a company who made a bunch of strategy games. Another game they made was Merchant Prince, which looked exactly like Hammer of the Gods, but was a trading game. Okay. I had that too. I did not understand it. But what I did understand back then was murder, killing, <laughs> Vikings, plundering, and doing stuff to innocent people. So we understood him of the gods. So we understood him <laughs> of the gods, because that is basically what you do in this game. This game was, interestingly enough, brought, um, brought out, published by New World Computing, who would later go on to also make the Heroes of Might and Magic franchise. Which are similar. Which are similar games to that. You can. This was before Heroes of Might and Magic, but uh, they definitely took some cues from that, from this game. Especially once we go into battle, you will, yeah. uh, you will definitely see that. So um, this game is much simpler than Heroes of Might and Magic, but it's also different in a way that I find really appealing. Indeed. Well, it's a cool game. So um, we spend. We spent a lot of time. A lot of this. time. As a child, I also developed a pretty big fascination with Nordic mythology and Vikings and so on. And that was probably <laughs> in no small part uh, caused by this game. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, let's just start a new game, shall we? Yes. <clears throat> and there we are. So, um, you are the person. Yeah, you can basically pick, you have four factions, and all four of them will be in every game. Also, one more thing, back then we played the, um, the shareware version, or de demo version of sorts, and in that version the other players were inactive. Yeah. So that was kind of the thing, but we're going to have computer enemies here. I don't know if we're actually going to meet them. I don't know. Whatever. Probably not. Probably not. Let's just... Put them on novice, and we're on easy mode because we are babies. Or well, I'm a baby. Um, we, you can select a random map, which means you have just a randomly generated map, or a historic map, which means uh, you have basically a abstraction of Europe. Yeah. Right. And game length, you can have a short game. Um, this is play by email, or a full game, which uh, we're gonna do. I don't know actually what that what short game does. It Let's probably makes game. the quests easier or something. And done. Generating sepia overlay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what is a sepia overlay? I mean, sepia the, is color, but... Uh, oh, yeah, the, the overlay. The, I know. We will see once we are in. Yeah. Uh, are we on the Grim? I like this name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's... You always get this name if you're playing yeah. the human. Um... <laughs> we are Jeff, <laughs> a real true Viking. Okay, so player one, turn one, human. So we are the humans. You can also play the other factions, which are I think trolls, elves, and dwarves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, kind of fantasy races, but this is not really based on fantasy. This is more based on mythology. On the which yeah, fantasy the is also myth yeah, which mythology. fantasy kind of Tolkien based <clears throat> it on. Nordic mythology and there all this stuff came th comes from really but this is not really a based on like generic fantasy tropes but directly on mythological yeah. things if you didn't know elves dwarves and giants yeah. and also kind of stuff and trolls are yeah from Nordic mythology yes or from all kinds of mythologies actually <laughs> but uh, yeah so okay so this is kind of um, what you have to do in the beginning. This is k kind of a thing you do all the time. These are quests, so to say. So for example, marriage. So Valand, he is the weaponsmith of the gods, as the guy has just told you. And he wants us for one of your daughters to marry. Um, and since you always start the game with two sons and two daughters, 
you can basically just do this quest and it's done. So this is always good to um, pick as the first quest. So each um, each faction has a different quest tree that looks the same, but um, there are different quests in there, and there are also different gods. Also, um, see now you have Europe. Um, all player factions are actually Vikings, so you don't have any. Um, so they are like four Viking tribes, and they are all in Scandinavia. But you, this is kind of interesting how they do the whole. They yeah, are like Viking hordes attacking England and so on. Because, yeah, uh, yeah this is um, how this game works. So, so this is the map and this is the Sapia overlay. <laughs> because yeah. this is also kind of interesting because it looks like, uh, see, you have this map. So we have, kind of have a mapped data of Europe, but it's not accurate, actually. Yeah. So um, we kind of know that in this area there's probably a town. And in this area there's a town. But it does not need to be on the same square actually it's just in this vicinity yeah i think um the the area in the beginning is mostly accurate mostly but when you get down there i'm pretty sure that the europe map actually goes until it, it, sh until it should it's yes. not like the yeah there is sea or something there's sea or something yeah um okay so we have we start out with Ossesson. this is our town I guess that we have our hometown. Our yeah. hometown. We have three guys. We have this Viking hero unit. Those are kind of the best warriors we have for the time being. I think you can actually get uh, more interesting stuff later by yeah. doing quests. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you can even get um, units from the other factions. Yeah. He has a bit of crossed eyes. This is kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he has six, six melee. Zero missile, so he can't shoot. He has five defense. And this is basically uh, the hit points in battle, mm -hmm. and sixteen moves, which are the moves on the map. So since uh, he has sixteen, the other guys have twelve. If we have them together in a in a party, so to say, you can only move twelve. Yeah, but uh, you could have them move twelve, twelve, uh, use twelve points, twelve movement points, which are different for each terrain, actually. How yeah. much you use up, and then have him go another four. Basically, that would be the Possibility. how it works. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> also, uh, yeah. So this guy is also a melee character, but uh, much weaker. He has four melee and three defense. And uh, this is a bowman who can use missile as four missile. So he does the same damage as he does, but on uh, with a bow combat. on rage combat. And for now, and for much much of the game. W Whoops, no recruits available, but we want to see the screen. This is where we recruit our units. And as you can see, we have four. As I said, this game is rather simple. So this is the one unit that we uh, don't have for now. These are berserkers, yeah, which are kind of better melee fighters than the Viking swords, but not as good as the Viking heroes. Also, what we have is uh, a ship here, this one. So here we can check if we want to take the ship with us or not. And uh, there is a possibility to carry the ship over land, but yeah. that costs more action points. More action points, yeah. More mm -hmm. movement points or movement something. Points. Yeah. And um, yeah, so let's just start going. Um, and this is kind of also kind of cool because like going by ship over water only takes one movement point yeah. per per step. I think the only other like the only other movement that also takes just one is over a road right i think maybe I yeah. think the other ones everything else takes more so this kind of um i don't know this is kind of also again interesting this kind of prompts you to do your raids via ship and yeah so uh, it kind of does the whole hey how do we recreate this historic thing via a game system and this is just how they do it and uh, yeah it's fun so now we can just can explore and there was actually the town was right here but there is also a river which was not on, uh, yeah. shown on through the map yeah there's a river so we can actually take the ship and go down the river or up the river I don't know yeah down the river you say it no it's up the river actually yeah you go up the river and um, 
can look at the town. There we can see uh, yeah, food, wares, population, population of 24, 11 food, 14 wares. This is kind of like this civilization thing. You can see what they produce, like the this here produces wares, this here produces food. I don't quite actually know. This game is not as involved as a civilization game, so yeah. I don't know how important that all is. I think wares actually um, creates uh, money for you, wealth. Once you have this town, basically, yeah, and yeah, food is how fast they grow or something. I don't know. Maybe or maybe they need food for the population. I can th think they might actually be able to starve. And these are the guys who are defending this town. As you can see, those are only peasants, like untrained. So these so are really are, weak, really really weak. Uh, there are a lot units. of them, but. Yeah, they are weak. They are weak. So our three people will be definitely enough to fight those. So um, let's just attack. And there we are in combat. And if you have ever played Heroes of Might and Magic, you know this system. You probably think, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, we're just going to stay over here for now. Can just um, make sure our... Bowman does not get hurt, and he shot a guy. It's actually more often than not he will not hit. Yeah, I think the more straight you shoot, the more likely you are to hit. I I never actually found out if it, if it was actually true, but probably it, it feels like <laughs> it feels like it. But um, I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt. I don't actually know if it is true. Yeah, but, uh, me yeah. neither. So um, these so these are ranged. Units, yeah. and these are like melee units, and uh, they only have one hit point each. But so, uh, also, uh, they are like uh, stone slingers, so yeah. they have uh, less range. Yeah, than a lot less range than the bowmen. Yeah. So it, if you are fighting like these little towns here, you are actually, yeah, you you can just curb stomp them most of the time. Yeah, well, should we just wait one more? Yeah. yeah. They will you just to wait until us. they yeah. come closer. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay, now our bowman cannot actually shoot because he has a guy in front of him. But that would really be no problem. Because he can just murder him. Yeah, well, that worked. And then you can pick remain in defender's position, so then he would just stand here. Yeah. Or we could tell him to go back. Yeah. Um, we will tell him to go back, yeah. I would say, because then he will be attacked. And actually, if he gets attacked by those guys, he can actually get into trouble, because um, he has yeah. only three hit points, and if he blocks like a thing, and sometimes also if one has two hit points left, they can die anyways with one hit. Yeah. That has happened sometimes, and there is some sort of critical hit mechanic in there. But uh, we're not going to remain here, and you are going to shoot at this guy and hopefully kill him. Yes, good. And uh, yeah, you're just gonna attack. So he, <coughs> so he does not really need to fear the attacks of those guys. No, not really. Um, shall but we remain? <coughs> no, you no, just yeah. because yeah, he will probably shoot at him. No, at yeah, the right. bowman. Yeah, okay. And he blocked this attack and killed that guy. and killed that guy. So that's also the thing, you know, if you are in battle and you are not killed by the first attack, you will actually attack back. It can end in a stalemate, so they will stop fighting at some point. It's not always to the death. For example, if you have yeah. two five health characters um, and they don't manage to kill... I think they have a, a, a certain um, amount of yeah. attack they throw yeah, yeah. at each other and then it stops. And then it stops, yeah, yeah. So I think it's... So it's a back yeah. and forth. It's a back and forth and, um, yeah. But with these guys... Now you want to stay yeah. So, he, so cannot he, ca he cannot shoot because he, he is adjacent. He has to attack him or move away. Yes. And uh, we're going to murder this guy. Ah, okay. He blocked. And you stay in that position stay and, that you, position shoot and that you shoot guy. that guy. And that yeah. didn't work, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, he actually got a hit. Also, hit points regenerate after battle. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, now we have attacked this. Now we can... Um, we can determine what we're going to do. We can raid this town, we can plunder this town, we can raise this town, or we can subjugate this town. I actually don't know what all of these... Uh, I know... I don't know what the difference between raid and plunder is. 
I don't know what that is, but I know rays will destroy the town completely, mm. and there will just be a symbol on the map that here was a town, and you can actually colonize this again. Mm. Yeah. Um, or you can colonize it immediately, which is subjugate. So you leave one of your guys there, or more of your guys there, and then the town will be yours, which we will do right now, yeah. I would say. So we found 168 gold, we murdered 24 population. So all of them. All of them. This is subjugate is actually what you, uh, yeah. When you when you subjugate, you actually murder everybody <laughs> and put your own people in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is kind of uh, yeah. The Vikings were kind of bad news. <laughs> and uh, okay, and we're gonna leave. I think this guy here because they are actually the most expendable people. Yeah. I would say. I think, I think you can recruit them the most. The most. Yeah. Um, we could also leave two people here, which would actually... Um, so this would start this town at a higher population, yeah. right? But uh, whatever, nothing much happens, and this town will have time to actually grow. Yeah. So I'll leave this guy here, and see, now we have Kami. And um, the more towns you have, the more recruits you get, the more money you get... And yeah, right? Yeah, right. And now all units are done. So if you fight a battle that just kills all remaining movement points, you can't move anymore with that unit. Right? With isn't the unit you attack uh, with. Isn't that so, so we would have. Uh, oh, had yeah, yeah, left, but yeah, that, right. Yeah. All right. So your daughter accepts the marriage proposal, and now we have got a rune avenger. Avenger, which is um, a sword or something. It's an item. Yeah. And items can be carried by Viking heroes, I think. Yeah. And they increase one of their stats, basically. Which so is cool. now one of them has offered us limited trade, so there's also a diplomacy system in there. So let's just accept everything for now. Yeah, sure. And he offered us peace, which is also good, because there's one quest that... Um, demands you make peace with someone. Which we will Roger then Tusk, the have immediately. So this is explore at least a hundred spaces of new terrain. Um, we're not going to do this right now. We're going to do this a little bit later once we already have that and we will immediately win the quest. Yeah. So it's not um, take the quest and then explore a hundred spaces, but explore them in general. So, yeah. uh, the old fair. Trusted so, find or have found at least one city next to a river square. The one city that we just got is next to a river square, so that works. We can just do that. Yep. And there's also... The sorceress. Yeah, donate 250 gold. Um, we could do that now, but then we wouldn't have any gold left, and we want to actually recruit some people. So yes. we're not going to do this right now, we're going to do this when we have more gold. Right, right. The old fair, trusted servant of Thor. Talking a lot right now. <laughs> Um, recruit. So let's recruit these two people. Sure. And uh, go back with our. We're gonna go back. I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, explore sure. A little we bit can. More. Yeah, sure. Just need to make sure that we have enough points to actually go back. So this is also a little town that we can. That we can attack. Next soon. Next. Yeah. And turn. Yes. I think we will actually get some units. Four units of berserkers. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I think the amount of guys you get is kind of random. Yeah. L last last time, time we, we got checked. two. Yeah. Uh, so we just started a little game just to check it out before this, and we only got two. So that's interesting. I actually never noticed that. Turn three. May our new treaty enrich both kingdoms. Partial trade, yes, yes, of course. Partial trade, do this. Partial Roger trade, Tusk, okay. The squirrel tail bear. So, grower, and then two hundred fifty. Goddess Establish a peace peace treaty. This will also work immediately because we already yeah. have the peace treaty. Modi, and God this is attempt raiding one city of any size. Success is not necessary, but we already have successfully raided a city. Yeah. So subjugate actually also works. You don't need to pick raid for that. So any of the four that you can pick works. So we can basically Nana, do this or do this. Shall we do this? Yeah, sure. Let's do this. 
And now we have a bunch of Viking Berserkers in here. And, and this is actually a kind of a good... I think it's actually... So in one line you can have five people. Yeah. So it actually... Kind of the ideal would be uh, like five melee and three bow Man, people, yeah. bowmen. Um, but well, like if you want you can also have three melee like stood in... Um, with one with one space, space in, in between, between. and uh, have more bowmen or something and so yeah that's just something to figure out so um with this army i think we will go in this direction yeah right? sure and the next army that we create will probably go down here yeah and see what we yeah. can do there and with that army we probably will kill everything with this that, army yeah, yeah so ulu movie. it's yeah they don't even have the have the ranged fighters this will just be a massacre yeah. Basically, basically, yeah. So we can <coughs> advance with our. Yeah, we will advance as, as well, and yeah, this will go quickly. We can actually increase the speed here, so it doesn't take as long, which is very nice. Yes, indeed. can we actually already shoot? Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah, this will. Uh... No, no, because he will advance anyways. No. Next, next, next. Ah, <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> so, we're also going to subjugate this one. 11 population killed, and we're going to leave another one of these guys here, right? Yeah. And turn. Yes. So, we got one rune armor and another Viking hero. Which is pretty good because we. <clears throat> wanted to create a new army anyway. Yeah. Okay, now these guys want to talk to us again, full trade or yeah, whatever. The squirrel tail bear. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. God yeah, of because we already we, raided yeah. two cities, so boom. We're gonna get this soon. And um, also one thing, uh, since we only left one guy there, this town's actually very ill defended. So uh, I think if now one of the other players would come, he would be easily able to attack, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, so we're not gonna go back with those guys just yet. No. I think we're gonna explore some more. Well, probably, yeah. Yeah, okay. We're gonna attack those. We're gonna lose one of our bowmen here, then, probably, because when we subjugate this one. Yeah. I kind of like to actually... Like in the beginning, go ahead and get all the, yeah, all the town. Yeah, sure. All right. But yeah, um, still a very enjoyable game. It is. There's something weird in this game about the resolution. It's kind of weirdly high resolution, but some sprites have much lower resolution. Stuff yeah. like that, you know? There's something, or it almost seems filtered in a way sometimes. I don't know. Um, no. 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 <laughs> right, and you guys. Don't hit anybody. Well, that's okay. Subjugate. Kill the population. Leave one of the guys there. Sometimes it also makes sense to just um, raise the town, yeah, and then just create an army of just swordsmen <laughs> and <laughs> uh, go along and colonize all these yeah. uh, all these raised towns. So, for example, that's also something that you can do. So we have two of these guys. I think we will probably get um, more units yeah, after the quest. After, after the quest. Yeah. Also, there's another item here that we could. At some point, pick up with him. Yeah. Once we have uh, no bowmen <laughs> yeah. left, left, then we will turn back. Actually, and end the turn. Sure. And we are done. And we got a Viking hero and, and two units of berserkers. Yeah, two units of berserkers and a giant slaying axe, which is probably great. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, those items give modifications to. Yeah. Not a task. The squirrel tail bearer. Okay, let's see. Grower. Grower? We sorcerers. could do that, actually. We have enough money. Ula. Ula. Go to Horheim, located death. west of your home city, and defeat the skeletons there. That's also interesting, right? That's interesting. So back in the day, actually, when we played this, um, we pl that was actually the English version. 
Yeah. And we did not know what any of that did. We just <laughs> randomly, because we didn't speak any English, we just randomly did stuff. And sometimes we <laughs> actually knew, uh, won the quests yeah. because of, you know, like rate something, we did that and so on. Um, also, we kind of figured out what the stuff in the menus does and so on. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Magni! God Raid four strength. cities of at least village size. Watch for counterattacks. So at least village size. Um, that was probably not village size. What we did, right? Probably not. No. Tribute seven hundred and fifty gold. Giant. Seek out and defeat Summer. one monastery and raid their stores. That would probably be to. And then for monasteries, we would probably have to. Get to to like England uh, or Germany bit, or something a bit more a bit, south. Yeah, um, not 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 all the way. I yeah. think there are some islands and so um, that have monasteries. Yeah, yeah. Um, grower, shall we do grower? Yeah, sure. Let's do grower. We don't need all that much money right now, and uh, let's sail down. So this is a bigger town, and as you can see, you will probably be able to make this. Yeah, sure. We, we shall we just have, attack? Yeah, sure. We yeah. will have no problem. Yeah, and they sell it forth to meet your attack. That's good, because when they don't do that, it can get kind of annoying when they it, are behind it, the walls. Yeah, that's really. Eh, I hate that kind of. So they come out if they are weak. And if they are superior and have a lot more uh, ranged units, they will stay behind the wall. Yeah. Okay. Should I go one? No, maybe not. No. I think it will be. You actually want to shoot the swordsman. Yeah, right, right, right. I think these ones, because he is in much less danger. Yeah. Uh, well. Okay, good. All right. So shoot with the bowman first. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. I hope, yeah. yeah oh, it will be all yeah. right. He has only three left, but I think it will be all right. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, no. No, you won't stay there. I think he will advance. Yeah. Um, he will also... No attack. Yeah. And yes, he... Yeah. And no, now he gets goes he will advances. Advance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Every but sometimes time. you can if you let your guys get swarmed by those peasants, um, you can actually run into trouble. So he will attack because he has four. And yeah. This guy only has two. So if this guy defends, he can actually be in danger from yeah. the peasant because he has only two left and sometimes if he gets hit the first time yeah. and then the peasant blocks and yeah. then hits another time he's dead basically. yeah he's dead yeah uh, but we did it without any any losses so now we will get rid of our oh no yeah also you kind of always want to um, attack towns and so on because um, you get recruits and you get, uh, yeah. yeah. Also, sometimes it probably also makes sense to not actually subjugate everything, because sometimes you can, like, sometimes towns will actually grow again then, and yeah. you can then raid them again, which is kind of nasty, but, uh, you know. <laughs> so, let's recruit... Bowman. A bowman. And a swordsman. And yeah. a swordsman, or Just whatever. for population. Yeah. Why not? And let's buy a ship. Sure. All right, now this we have the ship, and now they can start sailing. This is a pretty good unit with those two guys. Both have items, which is great. So let's see what the items do. So this Rune increases armor. their defense, rune armor. Giant slinger increases their offense, melee offense. Yeah, that makes sense. And uh, okay, these guys stay here. We can just end the turn now. Yeah. Let's just have a look at some stuff that you can also sure. do. So, you can build stuff. Building stuff is pretty simple. Um, the first time, you build a road, and then you build a small castle, which is, I think, uh, you have units in there, and you can use that to defend, yeah. I guess. Um, I think this becomes more important later on, I guess. Yeah. Also, when you fight other people. Yeah. And you can basically then build a road, and then you can move over land really quickly and yeah don't have to worry about stuff 
So, you can colonize. So, for example, you can, I think, also do this in your town. So, you can say colonize here, and then we could settle our people in this town. Yeah. If we want to, this, I think, for each, no, not in the turn just yet. Uh, for each one you settle there, I think the population will be one population or something. I think it will translate somehow into something. I don't know. Yeah. Right. And they have, they are actually growing. So now a population of six now. So how big is poor that we just attacked? Population of one. So they are actually starting one. to grow. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they will actually grow into big towns and so on. I guess. Yeah. Um. What else do we have? Actions, diplomacy. There we can just. You can see whom they are at war, and you can actually do something with the sons and daughters and all this kind of stuff. And uh, you can, this is, I don't know, there's an honor system, and um, I don't really know much about the other player stuff, yeah. because, um, well, back in the day we never really did this. I also don't know what the trade does. Yeah, I can't tell, I don't know. Because there aren't really any goods, right? Probably, if you have trade with someone, um, let's go back in there. I think uh, we have full trade with them, so that means we get 25 each turn and they get 25 each turn. Yeah. So um, it strengthens both of you. Yeah. So, probably. Uh, and when you're at war with someone, you don't really want that, I guess. I would say recruit is recruiting people, send. Okay, you can send messages, which is weird. I think this is because you can play this game via email and modem. Yeah. is basically what this is for. And but you can also or send each other gold. in the hot seat mode. In the hot seat mode, yeah. Or send each other gold. Spell. Only cause storm, pillaring, assassination, and withering spells work from here. The current stack has none of these. So there's a spell system which I have never actually used or seen before. Yeah, I. Okay. I actually don't know about it. At some point. And I think retire is, uh, yeah, end the game. Yeah. <laughs> so we are not going to do that. And tomes is, you can basically see what, see, um, basically your stats. Yeah. So uh, you can see in Ostersund, it's defended by these people. And there's a magic item here, the Rune Avenger. And these are our other towns. So this is this. <laughs> this is that. And there you can... Groups, those are your... Yeah, those are your armies, basically. You know, all this kind of stuff. Magic. So those are your magic items. And... So spells can... Are probably also related to the items, in a way. That could be... That could Possible, maybe make sense. Yeah. Yeah. And... Mail... Oh yeah, those are the messages you've got. The quest, you can see your quest. <laughs> Basically, you can take a look at the quest tree again. And world, you see a world map. Which is actually kind of nice, because it's, yeah, just a small version of the world. Yeah. Yeah, that is that. Yeah, that's basically Hammer of the God. Shall we... I leave it here, or shall we just I, play a little bit more? I'd uh, say oh, let's part? let's try and find some uh, better enemies. Some yeah. some um, yeah. Another Viking hero, two units of berserkers. <laughs> this one guy took a little bit. I think we can actually pick this. I think we will be at a hundred spaces pretty soon. Sure. So let's select this. Um, okay, these guys, you can just go. Oops, no, no. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Shall we just raise this town just really quickly? Yeah, sure. Why not? So now we want to get as close as possible, as soon as possible. <laughs> and this time they won't move because we have no ranged units, but yeah, they have. They have. But he can't hit us, right? Uh, not yet. No, but no. You, they won't advance. They won't advance. Oh well, whatever. Alright, you go forward, you go forward. 
Uh, well, <laughs> didn't really need to do that, but uh, yeah, that's it. Let's raise the town so we can show what this looks like. Now we can't subjugate because you can only do it with bowmen yeah. and swordsmen. And this basically does that without you conquering, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can fight something better, something more interesting. Mm. Nah. Nah. Uppsala. Mm-hmm. I would actually like to sail somewhere. Let's let's do this. Let's sail somewhere down there and uh, okay. fight some Europeans. Yeah. So they look different. They have different units and so on. All right. Done. I wonder if we actually get enough defender. Okay. If we actually get enough gold, or if we are losing gold right now, isn't there unit upkeep and stuff like that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Seek out and defeat one monastery. Well, let's just select that. Yeah. Why not? There was one monastery on the map, I think. Yeah, it was over here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Over there, I think that that is probably a monastery over there, right? Yeah. And there's a big town as well. So I think if we attacked them, they would actually not uh, come out. Not yeah. come out. Sometimes you also have to do stuff like uh, weaken a town with one army and, and go uh, in with another. Go in with another. So, uh, like, you don't actually. You have armies like maybe this one that you wouldn't want to lose. Yeah. And you, yeah. So it's simple, but there is some strategy involved. So let's recruit with those guys, and with the others we will just, um, I guess, just explore with those people here. Right? Right. Yeah, yeah. sure. So there's Orland, which we could also raise. Let's just do auto battle. <laughs> Which you can also do. You with anything that is more than this here, you would not want to do that because auto battle will often lead to you uh, losing units because it's not really. It's just go and attack basically. End the turn. Let's see. There's some stuff probably over here. Not there. Okay. See, there are these people. They have, for example, better archers, I think. No, those are the same archers. But they also have archers that are better, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think so. So um, these guys, melee 5, defense 4, are similar to the berserkers. These guys are similar to yeah. those guys, I guess. Shall we just attack the yeah, sure. castle? Also, when you are here in a square adjacent to a castle, it can happen that they attack you. Right. But uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, they are. We have a little bit of a situation here. Well, that's okay. That's probably the last thing we do here, even if we don't manage to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Um, Maybe we should actually send in these guys first and stuff, but uh, um, a lot of times you want to have more ranged units. Yeah, in these situations. in these situations, yeah, because you see they can actually attack them, and uh, yeah, you want just to hail That's them nice. with fire, <laughs> so to say. But uh, well, whatever. See, there we had a bit of a stalemate, and he will probably kill the Viking. No, he didn't. Actually, oh, uh, but now you have the opportunity to save him. Yeah, now we can get him back here and uh, get him get him in. in. Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Probably should have sent a berserker in or something. Get him to the front. Oh. Hmm. Well, well, yeah. oh well, that worked. Uh, here we go up here. Go in here, go up here. 
So we lost one unit, decide to topple the walls. That can also happen, that they do this. Um, some Mod they lost yeah, their ranged Mod units. Their yeah. Yeah. 200 gold found. Now we basically destroyed this and yeah. This is a monastery over yeah. there. So, uh, oh no, okay. Oh, after this you can actually still move. After you've, hmm. after towns you can't, but after this you can. So, monastery, there are monks in there. Let's fuck this thing up. Yeah, because they cannot defend. <laughs> nope. <laughs> they they can't, can't fight. Yeah. Yeah, Vikings, that was uh, kind of a nasty thing we're about to do here. Well, but why uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Just. You, you can probably see do this one. They have two health. But, oh, yeah, because he has. Um, the it depends sword on. The, of yeah. Also, he has six melee or something. That is probably also. Hmm. He got hit. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Boom. Monastery destroyed. True, not gold found. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they actually stay there, so you can come back. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just... Say done and get the quest. Location of Horheim. Oh yeah, that was another quest, right? Horheim and kill the skeletons there. Want that yeah. Song? Shall we just try to do that real quick? <laughs> yeah. I. Yeah. Or maybe if we can, just see yeah, if we sure. can. Sure. Map info is over there. Next Ule, message. God I, of archery and death. I still knew that it was kind of. Somewhere uh, there. Somewhere to the north. There are a lot of hills. Yeah, yeah. that one. Uh, it will take some time. Yeah, you have also, to... Yeah, also this is, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. the other player. I think it's the one we have peace, peace with, so uh, that's good. I can't get there. Mm, just say done. So yeah. We're not playing. Yeah, we're not really playing. You're right. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, done, yes. And turn. The game goes kind of quicker when you don't have the enemies. Yeah. No and AI enemies. Yes, that's what I meant. Um, ultimatum, attack Ulf the Fey, or reduce trade. Uh, I won't attack him. Well, <laughs> fuck off. Then you reduce trade, whatever. I think Ulf is in the fairies, not fairies, the elves. <laughs> Sorry, that was Fae. stupid. Uh, somewhere over here, I guess. I think and the the trolls are here, up there somewhere, and the dwarves are over here. Okay, let's yeah. dun 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 and turn <laughs> and continue. And then fight the skeletons, I guess. <coughs> skeletons are. I don't know. I th I don't know if I if I ever did that actually. Uh, I think we did. Yeah, yeah. probably. Okay. Um, I kind of actually want to uh, do a let's play of this game <laughs> in a way and play a full game. Yeah. Over a bunch of videos. No. 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 Decline. Was that now a decline? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, let's go here and use the road. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, how cute. So they they are tough. They are tough? Yeah, so they have three health. Yeah, right, right, right. Relative. But we are tougher. Relatively tough, yeah. So the guy most in danger is him. Him, I mean. So uh, uh, let's weaken those guys a little. Let's uh, get that guy down one. Yeah. To save, to, to replace the swordsman. Yeah, the swordsman. And uh, let's get to it. Yes. Yes. Yes, right. Oh, uh, no, whatever. Okay. No. No. Because you can... Ac see, so that would be a stem... Uh, like, both both have three, and that could actually be become dangerous for... Uh, okay. So we lost no health. No health, yeah, because he always defended. Um, but yeah, attack the one the in one. front of him. Uh. Ugh. I think you will attack him. Yeah. Because he has already lost something. Yeah. 
Yes. 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 And you go here. And oh, Ooh, wow! The, wow! Sure. Nice. Um, down, attack, and that's it. We did it. And there is the dwarf, the yeah. dwarf army. The dwarf army. Right. Done. Let's see what we get for that. Plus four rune weapon. Viking and two units of berserkers. That's probably a good item. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. Plus four. I mean, yeah. Probably does a bunch of damage. I don't Iron want to Soxa. do this. Iron stone giantess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. I just want to really quickly see if we take a look at this plus four rune weapon. Huh? Um, actions. What was it magic, right? Yeah, magic. Improves melee attack and combat. Yeah, it probably it does, does plus damage. four melee. Yeah, yeah. attack. Yeah, but um, that's Hammer of the Gods. It's a it's a cool game. It is. <laughs> it's really. I I really I still really like it. So it's, uh, it's one of these games you you don't stop to play. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to continue playing. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna stop here. And um, thank you for watching, and maybe you're going to see something on our channel at some point on this game. I won't promise anything, because we tend to not keep our promises. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, maybe one of us is going to play it, something. I a, can yeah. imagine that, yeah. yeah. So, um, thank you, and see you in our next video, I guess. Bye. Bye. Okay, the hotkey was overridden. <laughs>